Hi guys, welcome back to our ongoing Audacity learning series. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you the effects that I use on my day-to-day -day work and all my voiceovers and game commentary. Uh, the first effect that I usually apply on my work uh, is the Amplify effect. I usually highlight the web file, go to the Effects tab, apply the Amplify effect. I usually leave the settings at default and press OK to apply the effect. Uh, the other effect guys that I always apply on my work is the compressor effect. I usually highlight the whole file, go to the effects tab, choose compressor. I've played around with settings to suit my voice. On the threshold, I usually like to put it on my at minus 30 dB. Uh, the noise flow, I usually like to put it around minus 55 dB. Uh, the ratio, I always put it around 4 is to 1. The attack time, I always like to put it at 0 0.5 seconds. The release time, I usually put it at 1.0 seconds. Guys, you can always play around with this effect. Uh, play around with the settings. Copy the settings that I've used for your own work. I guarantee it's going to sound good. Uh, secondly, guys, I usually use the equalization effect for all my work. I highlight the whole web file. Go to the effects tab, choose equalization. I usually use this effect to boost my highs and lows, which is my bass and the treble. After I've selected the equalization, I go to the select curve. I choose bass boost. I leave the settings at default and press OK. I go back to the effects tab, select equalization again. Go to the select curve, uh, choose treble boost, and press OK to apply the effect. Uh, lastly, guys, I always apply the amplify uh, effect again. I highlight the whole web file, go back to the effects tab, uh, choose amplify. This time around, I don't leave the settings at default. I go to the new peak amplitude, which is the second tab. I usually reduce my sound by minus 4 or minus 5 db uh, depending on how loud it is because sometimes if you leave it like that guys the sound gets to be the wave starts picking and the sound starts distorting uh, but i always go to the new peak amplitude and reduce it by minus 4 or 5 to suit my recordings I hope this video guys helps you to improve as you continue to use Audacity. Uh, today I showed you the effects that I use for all my commentary and for all my voiceovers. Uh, don't forget to come back for more. Uh, the series is still going to continue. I'm still going to make a tutorial or a video every week. Uh, so guys, come back, uh, leave a comment, subscribe, and let's have fun while we improve our skill on Audacity. Cheers guys. See you on the next one.